all Europe, Central and Eastern Europe, but also Central Europe, is facing difficult times in the year 2012. But at the same time, if you look at the basic figures, if you compare the basic macroeconomic parameters, you as a matter of fact see that uh, Central Europe, maybe with some exception of Hungary, uh, reveals better macroeconomic parameters than most of the Eurozone countries. If you uh, look, for instance, for Poland, which is going to have a strong growth in 2012, Czech Republic, which is macroeconomic stable, Slovenia, Slovakia, which are Eurozone countries but going relatively well, then in, from this point of view, I would say go to Central Europe. Obviously, do understand that we are in a period of uncertainty, that the risks are everywhere, but don't be afraid of the region.